burn democracy down. That's what it looks like is going to happen. So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Lindsey Graham, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Kevin McCarthy, are they willing to burn democracy to the ground? I think they are. So that's what we'll talk about. This should be a good one. We're going to use the Spellcasters Tarot today. And again, my video is lagging behind. I've tried everything I can to try to fix it and nothing's working. So I hope you can just bear with me and eventually I'll figure it out, but it won't be today. So um, yeah, they're willing to burn democracy to the ground. That's what I think. Uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, what a shock. I mean, you thought that with uh, his friendship with John McCain, that there was some substance there. But as soon as John McCain was in the ground, um, there he was at Trump's beck and call, Trump's poodle. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, just evil. She's just a bad presence. She doesn't have a redeeming quality in her. And then Kevin McCarthy, stunning um, selfishness just wanting to uh, be Speaker of the House at any cost. And uh, is there some something behind all of this, willing to burn democracy to the ground, or at the very least willing to watch as it happens and let the cards fall where they may? That's what it seems like on so many levels. On, on Lindsey Graham, I think that's where it is. He's willing to let things go wherever they, they will. Kevin McCarthy, I think he's smug and feels like you know, whatever the people want, he's willing to do that as long as he gets to be number three. And, because uh, you, you know, if, if the president and the vice president can't uphold uh, their office, if they're uh, out of commission for whatever reason, he's the guy. He's, he's the one who runs the country. And then Marjorie Taylor Greene, just evil. Just not uh, anything redeeming in there. So, just not uh, anything redeeming in there. So, let's have a moment before we get into this of meditation. So, Lindsey Graham first. Let's see what we can find out about Lindsey Graham. Is he willing to let democracy just go? What's the deal with Lindsey? Three cards. One, two, three. Lindsey Graham, does he care about democracy at all? Three cards. What will they tell us? The signifier card for this is the Ten of Pentacles. That's interesting. You know, Pentacles are value. And the Ten of Pentacles is typically speaking to us of a happy family for some reason. Ah, you know, he's got a very interesting history, Lindsey Graham. He, uh, his parents died and he ended up raising his uh, younger brother uh, by himself, I believe. He's got a long uh, Navy military career. And, of course, we know that he's never been married. So, for some reason this family card is um, the first defining card for Lindsey Graham. I think it has to do with this, what his family is. The next card for Lindsey Graham Democracy, the Emperor. The Emperor. Interesting card. So who is the Emperor? The Emperor is the one who's going to say, listen, this is my rule. What I say is what's going to happen. And there's, there's nothing else. This is who Lindsey is always looking for. He's not a strong man in his own right and he's always looking for the emperor to hide behind and then the final card is the chariot things happening at a rapid pace the inevitable coming to pass uh, something that can't be stopped I wonder if this is how he sees it is that uh, democracy is at its end or does he just see the will of the people 
um, the stronger voting party or the strong, stronger voting body of people as the ones who will lead his way without him setting an example. Final card for Lindsey Graham, democracy, buster, three of wands, long-term plan. It looks like, yeah, this was always his plan just to let the stronger voting body, but then he, but, but then he, 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 in, in, um, uh, pushes it along. I don't know. Not very satisfying, but those are the cards we got for Lindsey Graham regarding democracy. Now we're going to talk about Marjorie Taylor Green. This woman has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. If you think that evil doesn't win a lot, you're wrong because evil wins all the time, all the time. Um, good wins in subtle ways. And uh, if you remember um, the, um, I guess Jesus said, you know, turn the other cheek. Uh, l let, um, in effect, let this bad thing happen. Turn the other cheek and perhaps you'll get your reward uh, in the end. But my goodness, this Marjorie Taylor Green is just the most selfish, uh, misguided, and rude and an unpleasant person. Three cards for Marjorie Taylor Greene. Is she willing to burn democracy to the ground? One, two, three. I wonder if they have a different view of what democracy is. I have, well, I won't tell you what my view is. The Page of Pentacles. She's a messenger. She's carrying this heavy amount of value right here. I believe she thinks she is some sort of disciple for this movement. It's a heavy bundle to carry with this Ten of Wands. All these actions are almost impossible to move along. But you can see this person is on the way down the hill and is almost tripping over those uh, uh, things that they can't see where they're going. Can't see where they're going. That's interesting. Last card for Marjorie Taylor Green in Democracy. The Seven of Swords is theft and betrayal. And um, she's willing to resort to anything to move her bundle along, uh, no matter how heavy it is. But it's a, just a, a small offering. So perhaps um, in the end, she won't have so much to uh, contribute to this downfall. I hope not. So the last one we do before we do a six card draw, this will be Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Again, stunning um, amount of, of self-indulgence here, uh, willing to do anything, say anything, twist any sort of an idea around to what seems like something reasonable, playing with our uh, uh, system of governance seems to be a, an interesting, fun game to him. I don't know that there's a de dedication to good, just a dedication to self perhaps. So Kevin McCarthy, is he willing to burn democracy to the ground? Three cards. One, two, three. Kevin McCarthy, is he willing to burn democracy to the ground? First card. Queen of Pentacles. So this is the queen uh, of values here. And this is a strong card. This is, uh, I don't know how this translates to Kevin McCarthy, um, it could be my own uh, prejudice uh, in, you know, in interfering with, because this, for me, is a strong card of a lot of values. The next uh, for Kevin McCarthy is justice. Interesting. Interesting. And the third card for Kevin McCarthy is the Four of Swords willing to wait until things uh, happen. You know, I think this he really be this is his calling i believe he thinks this is democracy he um he said it in uh when they had so many votes to uh, try to vote him in a speaker of the house i think he believes this is what democracy is so he could be the one who thinks he's doing he is performing democracy uh carrying a, he a heavy valuable uh amount of value here with a queenly purpose, holding up justice as, as the scale, and willing to wait and and uh, not interfere uh, until these truths in his wow. This is very scary to me. If if you have a person who really believes in their evil 
evil intention, that's worse than someone who doesn't believe in their evil intention. My goodness. So let's have six cards to tell us, will democracy burn to the ground in the United States? Is this the beginning of the end of democracy? It seems like it's been a long time coming, is that this has been this movement towards some sort of I guess democracy is those people who have the who win the votes uh, that is a determining of what democracy is I suppose remember if you're interested in these cards if you'd like to know more about them I don't get paid for, for, for this or to tell you about these cards but at the end of the video I'll go into more depth and tell you about them and show you more of the cards and please if you're enjoying this video or if you'd like to uh, support me please do subscribe it just makes an awful lot of difference so we're gonna do six cards for a dyadic cross one two three four five and then six so what's going to happen with democracy in America? Signifier card. Three of Swords, Broken Heart. Not good. The challenge to that broken heart, democracy in America, is the King of Swords, the King of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. So the challenge to, to this broken heart is Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law coming in as the leader. The, the base of this is the Queen of Wands. So this is a strong plan. Wands are plans, actions, forward movement. And then the past of this democracy in America is looking at things from another angle. And that's just exactly what I've been talking about. The, the democracy being the choice of the majority of the people is, are the majority of the people choosing something that is not the kind of democracy that I'm thinking about. In the sky of this reading is the Six of Swords moving out of troubled water. So that's what we want to do. Up here is where we aim for, what we hope to achieve. And so that's a good place for that card. And the final outcome is the sun. Well, this is hopeful. This is telling us that the sun will shine. This is a, a hopeful goodness uh, as an in here. So democracy, will our democracy burn to the ground? Well, it's a broken heart. It's challenged by a very strong leader of truth, justice, rules, and law. It's underpinned by a very strong action. It's in the past, it's looking at things in a different way, but that's in the past. So maybe looking at, at the, this somehow winning uh, the votes, uh, winning your side by any means possible, is, is another way of looking at democracy, but that's in the past. Because up here, it looks like we're going to move out of troubled water with that being in the sky. And then the final outcome is a bright, sunshiny future. I think this lends hope to the whole situation. So very interesting cards. I hope it's a... The cards, I think, never lie. I think you can trust what they say, but you can also trust your intuition. So let me know what you think about what the cards said and put it in the comments below. And remember, tell me what you'd like me to read about, and I'll read about that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang so Modern Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, with il illustrations by uh, Scott Murphy. Beautiful cards. I mean, they come in a really nice box with that magnetic uh, catch that's embedded in the inside the uh, the box itself. And uh, the uh, guidebook is very useful. Um, it doesn't, you know, the pictures are nice. It's a full color guidebook. And um, the descriptions here, they are in fact very useful in, di in dividing the cards. So I have to say, even for the price of the cards, just because you got this guidebook, this is worth the price of admission right here. The cards are in are very nice. They're useful. They're a familiar size of card to use and they're quality on the back and on the front. And you're going to see that this artwork goes right to the edge of the cards and uh, it's intuitive. They're right on the money with the Rider weight system and um, they're just fun cards to use and they, f and they feel good. And uh, then, um, so if these, uh, if you're kind of into uh, spell casting or even, even if you're not, actually, um, these cards are um, very nice to use. So that's the Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, and Scott Murphy. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.